This is Twit. Yeah, it is time to talk Linux. And uh, I, I saw a tweet this uh, this week, and it was kind of funny because somebody says um, something on Linux on you know Mac is now officially running native. And it's like you're running that inside of Wine. That's not exactly native anymore. <laughs> uh, it, it, this this is sort of the same thing, though, isn't it, Rob? There there's some uh, there's some interesting things going on in the M1 M2 world with running Linux on Macs. Yes. So, you know, in my own social media feed, I often see an ad for Parallels Desktop on the new M1 M2 Max. And the ad shows it shows a sad person that can't run games on their Mac. <laughs> and then it shows a happy person because now they can run games on their Mac with Parallels. I, I think the headline is something about um, now you can run Windows games on on your Mac. And often, often I go in those comments because I'm I'm a troll like that, and I and I put no, I'm good. I, I just install Linux and I can run games on my Mac just fine. Well, in all honesty, I, I don't have Linux running on a Mac yet because I haven't been donated enough money to get a Mac to put Linux on. But although nobody has ever called me out on 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 the comment that that the comment that I put on there. I forget about the part that the new Macs are ARM and <laughs> Windows games run great on Linux, but Linux on ARM is another issue to overcome. But, you know, we shared rumors recently, I don't know, a couple episodes, I want to say it is that it sounded like Valve was working on just this problem. So, this week, it appears maybe Valve wasn't the only one, only ones working on this. So, although although this um, fix solution uses Steam, I'm not seeing any credits mentioned on their involvement on this. Oh, what I did see is Alyssa Rosenswing. Uh, we haven't talked about Asahi for a while, but. Alyssa, she's uh, one of the developers of that. Mainly, I think she does a lot of the graphics work mm -hmm. on the Asahi Linux, which being the Linux uh, distro made to run on the M1 M2 Max. So anyway, she posted this week that on the Fedora Asahi remix for the M1 M2 Max, you can now play Windows games with Linux on Steam. You know, but this must be kind of difficult, right? That's at least what all the commenters on the previous story I said, or I, you know, we talked about said, and it's like, yeah. But if you think doing DNF install Steam is hard, then yes, I guess it is. But it is really just as easy as it, as it is on any other Linux distro. Apparently, it works well. Uh, maybe, maybe one of the only caveats I saw on there is that you you are, are going to want at least 16 gigabytes of RAM to do it. So the open source Honeycrisp Vulkan driver for Apple, Apple Silicon M1 and 2 um, within Mesa and related work as part of the Asahi Linux project provides a nice Linux gaming experience atop the ARM based Apple devices. At least that's what uh, Melissa says. And as the rumor was for Valve testing on ARM, Asahi is also using FX, that's F-E-X, as the translation layer from x86-64 to ARM. So the stack goes, FX emulates, to X86, or em emulates x86 on ARM, then Wine translates Windows into Linux, and then DXVK and VKD3D-Proton translates direct x to balkan so i know when we shared the valve story i thought this was early days and early testing and it would be quite a while before we actually saw some benefits i know we we had some discussion on the show and i think i saw i think maybe i said this year or next year some people said years out i don't remember um there were people uh, on on the forums it said 10 years maybe and in my defense was you know it doesn't matter if it works great today it's the start but you know i think i think we really underestimated the technology 
you know, and the person person's comments saying, you know, it was months away. Um, I think I think the most optimistic optimistic person was saying it was months away. And I think it was even closer than they thought since, you know, they've got it going on the on the M1s, M2s. Sounds like it works pretty smooth and pretty slick, even with all those layers there. So I I think our ARM feature is upon us. Yeah, that is that is uh, really quite impressive. Um, something related that comes to mind, you know, there's a video by Jeff Geerling just recently where he slapped a big full-size video card onto um, a Raspberry Pi, the, the Pi 5, because it's got that exposed PCI Express port on it. Mm-hmm. You could do some fun things with that. I'll make sure and grab that uh, URL and we'll throw it in the show notes. Um, yeah, it's it's really coming along to where you can you can do some pretty interesting things. Um, yeah, it's real fascinating. And the thing that I love most about this is the Linux support is better for the Max GPU than the Mac support is. Yep. Like. <laughs> Apple's like, no, we can't make OpenGL, whatever, you know, 4.3 work on that. It's never going to happen. And yeah, it totally works with the Linux drivers. It's it's just hilarious to me. Well, you know, we talked about Mac came out with their, we're going to support gaming more and kind of went, okay, here's here's some uh, documentation. You guys take care of it. And yeah, they didn't really do much themselves other than say, have a good time you know well i mean what what they did is they said we're going to support gaming more so long as people use metal and nobody or nobody used that's, metal to api he's spoken now it's pretty much everything. that is a big difference between like linux windows and and mac os you know when you know windows makes their thing Apple makes their thing and then they expect people to use their thing. Mm-hmm. Linux, you know, makes their thing. And since a lot of people aren't going to make stuff work for them, Linux makes things work for them. You don't see Mac making other people's stuff work for them yeah. or even Windows doing that. I mean, it, kind of, I guess, with WSL and stuff like that. <laughs> but um, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, fun, fun, fun. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>